This is the latest from the Laramie Live Radio News Center. Today I have Dan Furphy in the studio with me today talking about his run for Senate District 10. Thank you so much for being here. Well, thank you for having me. Oh, of course. Uh, so tell me a bit about your background with the state of Wyoming and the district that you're kind of covering. Well, let me say first of all, I'm a native of Laramie. I grew up yes. here and uh, was fortunate to be able to make a career here in banking and so I've been on city council, I've been on our hospital board for eight years and uh, I just love this community and state and that's why I'm willing to serve. Awesome and you were your representative currently? I'm or currently what? in House District 14 as a representative. Okay can you tell me a little bit about your political career and how long you've been doing it and kind of issues that you covered over that time? Sure. I've been in two terms of the House. Uh, I'm currently in Minerals Economic Development Committee. Okay. I'm on Corporations Committee and on Capital Investments and Financing. So I'm on those three committees, which I really enjoy the committee work and uh, hopefully can add to those committees based on my background. Awesome. Um, do you have also any former public service outside of the committees or anything that helps you with your job as the representative of District 14 right now? Oh sure, beyond my political career, um, I was in banking for about 45 years. Um, I then, when I retired from banking, I became CEO of the Laramie Chamber Business Alliance. And so I've done economic development. Um, Phil Necklace and I formed the Laramie Beautification Committee many years ago. And so that's why you see a lot of the trees and things around our community that we help to implement. So yes, community service is very important to me. Awesome. So after your two terms that you've done as a representative, what inspired you to move on into the Senate? Or to run for that? Well, um, I'm the only Republican left of the group. There were three Republicans, Glenn Moniz, Bill Haley. Uh, they both determined that they were going to retire, so that left me as the only Republican, and so I decided to go for the senior seat in the Senate. Awesome. Uh, what are some of your main issues you'd like to focus on in the Senate for Wyoming? Well, of course, our biggest challenge right now is the shortfall in our revenues because our minerals industry is no longer supporting us as it has in the past. So we have about $1.5 billion shortfall in this next biennium. So we've got to solve that. And so um, one of the things hopefully I can help with is with my background in banking and investments. As I said, I'm on the Capital and Investments Committee and our investment portfolio at the state in the Permanent Mineral Trust etc. is about 22 billion dollars and so hopefully through our investments uh, will help support our budget shortfall somewhat but it's going to be a big challenge otherwise to overcome that shortfall. Yeah, no, definitely so. And are there any other kind of smaller sub-issues that you'd like to focus on as well through the Wyoming Senate? Well, of course, with my background in business development, I want to continue that in our state. Um, and we need to get the minerals industry back. And part of that is um, some of the interesting technology going on at the University of Wyoming. Mm -hmm. Um, a couple of issues the university is working on being able 
to utilize the energy out of coal without burning it. Um, that's amazing technology to me, and I really uh, am excited. I'm going to do a tour of the uh, University Energy Department in a week or so, and I'm um, very interested in that technology, although um, the head of the Energy Department, um, she is going to, she spoke to Minerals Committee and outlined some of that technology. The other thing that is very interesting to me is carbon capture that we can do. So, um, you know, helping the environment and still using our minerals makes a lot of sense to me. Get coal back online. We've got to get oil back online. We only have one rig drilling at this point in our state, so we've got to get that industry back and going. And we've also got to help Trona. That's um, China has been supporting their Trona industry, so it's unfair competitive advantage, and so we've got to get Trona back in our state also, and all the jobs in all these industries. No, definitely. Um, if you could clarify exactly what Trona is, I'm not very familiar with it, so I was just curious. Sure. Trona is used in a lot of things. Uh, it's used in baking soda, but it's used in manufacturing glass. Okay. So it is a very important industry, particularly uh, we have a lot of Trona in the southwest part of our state, and okay. so it's created a lot of jobs, mm -hmm. and we need to keep that going. Okay, awesome. Uh, do you have any kind of final thoughts on your campaign and to the people of Wyoming? And do you have a way they can reach out to you for information or your website or something? Oh, absolutely. Um, I have a website, electdanfurfytosenate.com. I have a Facebook page, same thing, electdanfurfytosenate. Um, I have an email address, and I'll give it to you right now, um, but you can get them from the website or Facebook. It is D-K-F-U-R-P-H-Y, last name Furphy, F-U-R-P-H-Y, so D-K-Furphy at msn.com. All right, awesome. Any other final thoughts? No, I uh, look forward to uh, to serving if I'm elected. I think um, it is not all gloom and doom for our state. We've got a lot of great things going on. For one thing, Wyoming has no debt. Most states have debt. We have no debt. And so we're going to get through this difficult period and uh, I'm very optimistic about the future of our state. All right, wonderful. Thank you so much for coming in. Thank you.